you know this river is absolutely gorgeous i'm not sure if y'all can hear it in the background but you can hear the rustling water this is going to be an awesome vlog you guys what's up y'all chet got through the dream poet here coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here in the mountains we are here at the Norris Dam State Park today and let me tell you all why we are here why we are in front of the Clinch River by the way the Clinch River runs through North Carolina and it comes through here but it never used to be it never used to be this way We'll leave it at that. Up until 1933, all of this was just a little creek system that was pretty much just overall hidden. And for many years, it was like that until the creation of TVA happened. Yes, Norris Dam, which we will be visiting today, was the first major project of the Tennessee Valley Authority. But, that is not the reason why we are here. No. Well, in a way it is. Kind of. You see, along the banks of the Clinch River, while they were surveying the area, they found a mysterious temple. At first, it looked like perhaps maybe it was a small Cherokee relic. But they kept digging. In this mysterious temple, it kept growing. It kept getting bigger. And pretty soon, you had scientists and historians, archaeologists coming from far as Cambridge University and John Hopkins University to understand what this mysterious temple was. You guys, this mysterious temple some consider to be an Egyptian temple. So today, you guys, we are going to explore this story and we are going to talk about it. So anchor down. We must start here at the Lenore Museum. Within the walls of this museum, there is a certain artifact that we will be checking out today. One that might be connected to this mysterious tribe of people. You see, the history of this mysterious tribe of people could probably date back to before the Cherokee. The Cherokee considered them their ancestors, or as present day would call them, the Mississippian tribes. Or were they? You see, when they were digging up this mysterious temple, they were finding remains. They were finding paintings. They were finding things that were not associated with the Mississippian tribes of people. One artifact in particular was a mysterious purple paint that could only be gathered from a type of mollusk not known to the United States, a mollusk that could only be found on the banks of the Nile River. You see, this is why we believe, or I should say, this is why the people of the time believed that this was an Egyptian colony that was here along the banks of the Clinch River before the Norse Dam was built. But no, no. This could also be the mysterious Anikatani, the sorcerers, the creators of light, as the Cherokee called them. You see, as quoted in the records from one Cherokee principal chief during the time in the 1820s, he called them the Anikatani. And what happened is that the Cherokee nation, his ancestors went through and they chased them through the mountains and they killed them. You see, this is what, how we believe, or at least possibly how the Cherokee 
began to rule the mountains of what would become the Great Smokies. Or at least that's what we believe anyway. But today, guys, there is a burial vessel within those walls, an artifact that dates to around the time of this mysterious tribe. Let's go see it. In this case, in this pot, could possibly be an artifact from the mysterious Anikatani. You see, you guys, this is a bone vessel recovered from a cave in North Georgia. This giant piece of pottery was given to the Cherokee Nation many, many years ago. And the museum here, they did a carbon dating of the vessel. And this vessel came from the year 500 AD. A time that lines up with this mysterious temple that was found here during the construction of Norris Dam. Now another fun fact about this vessel is when it was on display here in the museum up until the 90s, there were Native American remains that were in this giant piece of pottery. Now with different reclamation acts, different well, laws that would return remains to the Cherokee Nation and various other Native American tribes. They took the bones off of display that were in this vessel. And while we are here at this museum, I wanna show you some of the other Native American artifacts that is here at this Norris Dam Museum. We have the Cherokee period, which as you can see, ironwork, beads, arrowheads going down to the Mississippian period, the days of the mound builders, quite possibly the Anakatani. And then we go on down to the woodland period and the archaic period when man hunted the mammoths, hunted the rhinos, hunted the elk that roamed the land of East Tennessee during the Ice Age. And of course, the Paleo period. Here at the museum as well, they do have other artifacts from different time periods. We have some excavated pieces right here, different shells found from the Tennessee River. Then we have different bones made from deer again, which is a very big commodity to the Cherokee Nation at the time. We have a, um, a ground stone meant for grinding cornmeal. We have awls and, um, and axes, axe heads from that time period. And at least we not forget, this is uh, Cherokee pottery. Cherokee pottery, if you go to the eastern well, band of the Cherokee Nation Reservation in Koala Boundary, just outside of North Carolina, these pots are very expensive. And of course, we have the Atter, we have the Little Brother of War, which by the way is a very, very nasty little game played by the Cherokee Nation, and it can, well, the game can end, well, pretty bad look at those pipes that is very very cool so you guys we are going to head over to Norris Dam and we are going to tell the full story of the Anikatani the discovery of the temples along the Little Clinch River this is going to be very fascinating We have finally arrived at the legendary, almost, well, no, not almost, the behemoth sized Norris Dam. You see, it was at this very dam where they were surveying the Clinch River. And this is where they found the remains of this mysterious people 
this mysterious temple, a mysterious culture that was lost to time. Which it makes me even wonder too, could this mysterious tribe of people, whether they were Mississippian or ancient Egyptian colonists, could they have been the ones that created the mysterious, almost lost shadow wall in Cleveland, Tennessee? If you all have seen on my channel or in my channel, in my videos in the past, you all know that I have done a video on the mysterious shadow wall. Well, who's to say that this mysterious group of people, and by historic documents, have said that written inscribed on the wall was a tribe at war that was going extinct. Maybe, just maybe, this could have been ancient Egyptian, or maybe it was the Mississippian people, or maybe it was Paleo-Hebrew. I don't quite know. But later on in 1934, this behemoth of a structure, which locals refer to as the, Col or the Cove Creek Project, as it silently sits here in the mountains during this time period and it's worked on. Well, as the people work, as they continue to find these mysterious artifacts and they continue to dig on this temple, which at the climax of its survey, it will be a hundred by hundred square foot temple with these mysterious arches, these mysterious re-roded poles, I guess you could say. It's when this dam was dammed up in 1934 that the Clinch River was flooded. Flooding and removing, hiding whatever mysteries that had yet to be discovered in the Clinch River. Now I will say the Norris Dam behind me is a very beautiful structure. If I'm not mistaken, it's about 1,500 feet long, about 200 feet wide. I really don't know like how it would be in comparison to the um, to the uh, Hoover Dam out in Nevada, but still, just looking at it from here, it is a behemoth. Not only did it take these mysterious artifacts, these mysterious remains, from what even could have been an Egyptian colony, we don't know. It's just so sad that it has been lost. But I suppose all things are necessary to some extent. You see, as this was the first project of the TVA, this dam was built here to help control all the sporadic flooding that was in the Tennessee Valley. It was put there to help economic growth to a people that really, really needed it. Today, you guys, this is gonna be my vlog. I'm glad that you all stayed posted and stayed tuned because I like getting out in the woods. I like talking about history. It just feels overall nice. So you guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot, goes to show that y'all care and that you all wanna see more content. I also have a surprise, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. Something that I think a lot of my East Tennessee friends are really going to like. So you guys, stay posted, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. It always means a lot. It goes to show that y'all care. In doing so, vlog over.